What's good? Back to playing some more of this game. So we just took this place down. We got. Wait, what is this? What is this? Can I actually change clothes? Change clothes. Oh shit, action suit. What? So you can change outfits. That's kind of cool. I like that one. Oh, full metal. I might rock that for a minute. So we got the combat, full metal. On leave, I like that one. Plain white tee. Let's see what the other ones are. Formal. Oh shit. My name is Clay. Lincoln Clay. Oh, I like that one too. Without the jacket. Okay. Pro AM. Oh my god, he's bald. <laughs> no! That's horrible. I don't like that one. We're gonna go. I like the uh, suit. Let's do this one. Yeah, looking like a gangster now. Woo! All right. Anyway, back to what we're supposed to be doing. So we got meet Vito. Lego. Almost hit his car. What's good, my boy? Whoa! Why did <laughs> I don't understand why I why I shot his car? Building at the end of the block. A lot of who was in there? Probably face down a pussy right now. You got any muscle with him? Yeah, a couple of meatheads. I'll go around the front. You take the back. He tries to run, grab his ass. Nobody kills that prick but me. Fuck. Go again with that shit. Those are Marcano's guys. <laughs> I'm back to the car, you drive, I'll cover us. Fuck if that little prick gets away. Ha! Ha! Time to go. Oh, yeah. is, is that how the fuck did Greco end up with my car? He's a little fuck, that's how. <laughs> God damn it, why don't you just let Marcano handle this jackass? Marcano would just kill a little shit stain. I want to take my time. Besides, until I can get at Marcano directly, this is the next best goddamn thing. Pointing. You fuckers miss me? Go back to Sal. Tell him he's done fucking Vito Scaletta. I never mind. I'll tell him myself. Woo! Don't shoot my car, Vito! Fuck! I ain't making any promises. No way I'm letting that dipshit get away. That oh, hey. Miss me, oh, that was kind of cool. God damn it, that motherfucker's got my car! Good. That was a that was a mess. Bottom line, that's what that was. I can't even come up with the words. Fuck, God damn it. The fuck are you? Woo. Gangster in a oh, suit. Cops are closing in. That's what we are. Hey, hands on door. no pants. Yeah. Oh, shit. You're gonna have to shake these corn bone redneck motherfuckers. I've got to show you this. Let's go. All units, suspect sighted in River Row. In River oh. Row. What happened? You crossed the wrong motherfucker. That's what happened. Well, shut the fuck up. Ugh. Settle down back there, kiddo. Right, will be over soon. Oh, 
got your seatbelt um. on, asshole. <clears throat> No! Looking at my damn map and not watching where I'm driving. Oh, what? Because we wrecked our car. Awesome. All units, negative visual I'm going to try that again. Any chance Lincoln had of bringing down Sal Marcano ended with the death of Vito Scaletta. Restart checkpoint. I think I might have to take out the cop cars and then drive off. That's what we're going to try to do, see if it works anyway. You took it shit, motherfuckers. Let me go already. Back. Yes, I already know. I have an outfit. To your place? Yeah. Pull around to the chub shack in the back. And as for you, have a little dignity. Christ. <laughs> Watch out for cops. Don't want to get pulled over with this asshole in the back seat. I guess we're good. It, by default, it got, took the cops Ooh, off of us. Shit. <laughs> for a couple of years there, I really thought I might be done with all the Jimmy Cagney bullshit. But here I am. Ronnie, I kind of figured you for more the Edward G. Robinson type. <laughs> Look at you, kid. You know, God's got a sense of humor, too. It's sick as shit, but that motherfucker's got one. Turn the radio off. Nobody asked you to turn it on. Jesus Christ, don't God, pull the fuck down, you big gorilla! <laughs> And kill me. I was just doing what Uncle Sal told me to do. Ah, that fuck never liked me. I get it. But this? You never tried anything like this before. I don't. I don't. Come on, Mikey. Why do you want me gone all of a sudden? He said you were a carpet baby. Never should have been down here in the first place. You want me to keep going? You got nine more. Fuck! Listen, Jesus, he was worried you knew about the casino. And so we're gonna play up to Leo and the commission. What casino? <laughs> Answer the question. Uncle Sally's... You, you, you see that construction across the lake? He's building a casino over there. He wants to go legit. Turn this city into Las Vegas. Gambling's illegal. Uh, yeah, no shit, it's illegal. <laughs> Which is why he's paid a bunch of money to get the laws changed. Who else is involved in this? I don't know. I don't know, I swear it! <laughs> Look, I... I told you what you wanted to know. You could have let me go now, right? Yeah, sure. Oh. You're a dead man. Stupid fucking prick. 
I'll clean this mess up. No reason for you to stick around. Remember our deal. I'm expecting to cut of everything you bring in. Hey, I know how this shit works. You'll get your money. There's a woman named Alma. Helps me out some course. Cuban. Mean as fuck. She talked to us, see if she needs anything. Might be an easy way to bring in some extra money. Where's she at? At the warehouse. All right. What are you gonna do with him? Fish gotta eat like everyone else. At what point did you become aware that Sal Marcano wanted to build a casino north of the city? Pretty early on. Michael Greco told Lincoln about it. And Lincoln Clay's plan was to specifically target various entities related to Marcano's casino plan? Between the bribes he was paying out to get gambling legalized and the money needed to pay off the commission, Sal was stretched pretty thin. So Lincoln used that to his advantage. Forced Sal into making some extremely hard decisions. Decisions that would limit his options. I'm telling you, we make twice as much bread moving heroin as we would from a stupid fucking casino. Maybe three times. This ain't about the money. <laughs> You're joking, right? All I ever heard from you is, don't give me that goddamn excuses, you understand? You pay me what's fucking owed. You think this is a game, <laughs> son? And it's my fault for playing along with you. We're not setting you straight. But it's not a game. This shit wears on you, grinds you down. I ain't had a decent night's sleep in 43 years. And then after Lucho, shit. Well, hey, we got the cocksuckers who did that. Every last one of them. Yeah, and your uncle's still dead, ain't he? Yeah. You think sitting in that chair makes you special, huh? Somehow puts you above all the bullshit. Well, it's the opposite. All it does is paint a giant goddamn bullseye on your forehead. There's a price to be paid for all this, you understand? And I'm tired of paying it. Mainly, I'm worried I'm gonna get a phone call telling me you're dead in a gutter somewhere. What do you expect me to do, huh? Work the front door? Glad hand folks as they come on in, maybe give them a quick slap on the ass? You run it with me. And here, after a few years, after I know everything's settled down, you'll take over. Find yourself a nice woman. Give me some fucking grandkids. Sounds boring as fuck. It's the only way, son. The world is changing. Used to be people knew their place. Now everybody's screaming about equality. And now they all deserve a slice of the pie. Niggas, mix, gooks, you name it. Our way of doing things won't work in a world like that. Yeah. You come to me with something like this, Lou, you better be goddamn sure. Yeah. Lincoln Clay's alive. Lincoln Clay's still alive. <laughs> Pegged it. That's Fuck. funny. Boom, bitches.